Hey team, today we are talking about line out lifting and I've got a couple of videos just to show you. Uh, today we're going to start with the warm up. So I've got a couple of exercises for you to use as primers either before games, trainings or in the gym or for your warm up. Uh, and then I've just got a little drill that you can use at home uh, just to uh, prepare yourself for the speed and the accuracy that we need when you're lifting. So let's get into it. The first one we're going to do here is the medicine uh, ball toss. So as you can see, feet are shoulder width apart, I'm at the bottom of my squat and we are starting with the power from the ground, exploding upwards in the squat, first movement, transitioning that power through the torso and up through the arms. Try and keep your elbows in, I haven't done the best job here but the reason being we want to keep our hands in nice and close so that when we're lifting, especially from the front, we can keep the knees in, keep that jumper nice and stable. Here's the side view. See that I'm walking through for two reasons. First of all, if you're doing this well, you should be throwing the medicine ball straight up and it should be landing where you're lifting. Uh, second of all, <laughs> obviously you don't want it to hit your head. And second of all, we just want to promote ourselves walking through to finish our lift. Um, often we see guys leaning, creating that A-frame that I talk about. We don't want that, we want maximum height from our lifters. This one here is the plate lift. Just walking through, it's more specific to back lifters where we're catching the jumper as he leaves the ground or just after he's left the ground and we're trying to uh, close him out, lock out and get him right above our head. Same again, make sure you're using both feet, left and right, walking through. All right, uh, the last thing we're gonna do is just a quick little drill. You can use cones or you can write numbers on the ground or use bits of card, whatever you need. Just give yourself different spots. Now, if you've done any line out sessions with me, you'll see that I encourage the 45 or jumping on the 45. I'll explain that again. It's the 45 degree angle that you want your feet facing, our uh, feet on, sorry. And uh, you'll see that I'm just trying to get speed across the ground and into a great lifting position. So I'll explain it in the video. Make sure that we're really hard on ourselves. Take some videos of yourself and evaluate how you think you went in terms of your uh, technical skill, how accurate, accurate were you, how fast across the ground and how fast we you to complete your lift. Make sure that you are nice and disciplined because when we get to back to the field and we are lifting players, we can go straight into lifting as opposed to revisiting some of this technical skill. So, here we go. Uh, boys, this is about uh, our lifters and just our reaction times, so getting into the right positions. So, we're gonna pretend our ball's coming from your left, that's the front of the line out. I'm going to stand on what we call the 45. For the lifters and jumpers in the middle of the line out, this is really important. So what I mean by 45 is your feet are on a 45 degree angle right towards, well, good. this is 90, that's square, and we're just going in between, so both feet. Uh, so you need someone to uh, call, call a colour, we're going to react. The red one is just a straight back lift. The blue one is to actually run through to the blue turn and front lift. Uh, the green one, here we're going to do a lob and a back lift and the yellow one we're going to run and front lift at the back. So run, front lift, all right. So making sure we plant really steady with our legs before we explode out in our movement. Look. Yellow. Green. Blue. Red. Yellow. Green. <laughs> 